Good afternoon. Good morning, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you a verse of scripture. It's actually out of Ephesians chapter 6. And this is something we should be doing constantly. It says, chapter 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God. That ye me ye me that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians six, eleven through twelve. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, and future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works. At least any man should boast. It is grace. Something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve that God gave. His only begotten son that whosoever believe whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life how do you come to that you admit you're a sinner in need of christ the moment you put your faith and trust in christ the moment you accept christ as savior not only are you saved born again but you're justified by the blood of jesus rapture ready which is going to literally happen at any time and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, and the Holy Spirit will change you. This just came off of war news, um, not even five minutes ago. Um, Israel's margins of attack on Iran are beginning to narrow desperately as the Iranian defense minister confirmed the finalization of the supply of SU-35 fighters. Now, hmm, SU-35 fighters, MI-28 attack helicopters, and Yak-130 trainer aircraft. Now, it's awfully strange. <laughs> Today is supposed to end the truce. But now Hamas wants to extend it. This comes out today. So information indicates the acquisition of at least two SU-35 squadrons equipped with the best, with the best of the Russian Air Force yeah. While Iran acquire, as soon as this becomes possible, the export version of the SU-57, probably together with the S-400. The SU-35s come with the R-37M air-to-air missile, the range of which, according to some reports, exceeds 300 kilometers, creating a serious problem for Israel's F-16 and F-15 squadrons. The Iran-Russia defense agreement also includes the transfer of know-how for the repair and maintenance of the S-35s, SU-35s. Finally, Iran will receive at least 18, at least 18, MI-28 attack helicopters. Iran is laying the groundwork to accelerate the acquisition of nuclear weapons. Now that it has the proper anti-aircraft arsenal. Really? So this goes on to say that, according to what Iran's Deputy Defense Minister um, 
General, I think, Farahai, told the uh, TASNA news agency, Tehran has completed agreements with Russia to procure and receive Su-35 fighter jets, Mi-28 attack helicopters, and training helicopters. The senior Iranian official said categorically that the Su-35 and Mi-28 and Yak-130 will officially join the arsenal of the country's armed forces, significantly upgrading the Iranian Air Force. Notably, Russia originally built the Su-35 for Egypt, but the sale would trigger U.S. sanctions under the KAATSA, the CATS Act. The Russian group United Aircraft Cooperation is on the sanctions list, and therefore Egypt, fearing sanctions, backed out of the deal. But Iran didn't. So, according to the Americans, it's very likely that Iran will provide know-how and a license to manufacture ballistic missiles to Moscow. Isn't that just lovely? Yeah. Now listen to this. And this came out today on Al Arabiya uh, News. Hamas is willing to extend a truce for four days. And release more people in exchange for Palestinian prisoners. A source close to the militant group said today. as mediators sought a lasting stop to the conflict. Did I not say that they were going to try to stop this whole thing? Which is a major, major, major mistake. But feeling the pressure from the U.S., the West, and any other powers that be. There you go. With 60 Israeli hostages and 180 Palestinian prisoners already released. And more are set to walk free today under the agreement. Qatari mediators say, said they were working for a sustainable ceasefire. Meanwhile, like I just read, Iran has all their arsenal intact. Yeah. Under that, uh, Hamas on Wednesday informed the mediators that it is willing to extend the truce for four days. A source close to the militant group told the AFP on condition of anonymity. Under that arrangement, the movement would be able to release Israeli uh, prisoners that it other that other resistance movements and other parties hold during this period, according to the terms of the existing truce. Qatar's foreign ministry spokesman uh, said on Tuesday that negotiations were seeking a sustainable truce that will lead to further negotiations and eventually end the war. Again, I remind you, in the meantime, like I just read, Iran now has help from Russia and they have a mighty air force. Please don't think it's a coincidence that this article came out today when this truce was supposed to end today. Basically, what Iran is doing and what Hamas is doing is building up their military for the ultimate destruction. That's why the truce is set in place. Netanyahu was an idiot to do this. 
I'm sorry, but he was. I'm going to link all of this in the description box. I have to go to the store, so I will be back later to give you more. This is, um, this is what's going on right now. It goes on to say here, after a 48-hour extension of the initial four-day truce, a new group of 12 uh, people were freed from Gaza. This is not good. But I will be back later. Thank you.